guys and welcome to another Arduino tutorial. Today we're going to have a look at servo motors. Servo motors are uh, something that we're going to use in our electronics projects and especially in this robotics project um, in the series How to Build an Arduino Robot. But also if you're not taking part in this robot series this lesson's fine just if you want to know how servo motors work and how exactly you program them. So let's have a look at what servo motors are. Servo motors um, are a special type of motor that don't spin in a circle. So this thing here doesn't spin in a circle, but it moves to a specific position. So if I told it to go this way, it would just point that way, or it could point that way, or that way, or whatever. Um, combining one of these motors with a potentiometer, which is what we're going to do, uh, it means we can control the motor, uh, what direction it's pointing. Uh, they usually only rotate 180 degrees. So, you also need a potentiometer, a mini breadboard, um, and an Arduino Uno. So, I have prepared a mini circuit here. Um, it's very messy to see, um, but I'll just talk you through it now. So, um, the potentiometer is wired to 5 volts on one side grounded another and the middle is connected to analog in naught and this I I've wired this up wrong I've wired the servo to a naught but basically the uh, anal the um, potentiometer needs to go to a naught and then the servo um, on the right is black so that means ground in the middle is red, it means 5 volts, and then the white uh, means digital pin. Well, it means that it's an input, so it's going to go in. So that's how you wire them both. Sorry if I was a bit vague there, but on the servo, on the right is ground, in the middle is 5 volts, on the left is going to be uh, to a digital pin, and the digital pin is 9. So that is the circuit. Um, so we're going to have a look at a very simple sketch to do this. But before we do that, also notice on this servo how I've screwed in uh, one of these with a screwdriver like this. So it just you need to screw one of these on, it doesn't really matter which. But you want to be able to see when you turn this that it is actually moving, if you know what I mean. Because you can't really tell just by that little thing there. You can't really tell. So you need to screw in one of those um, also. And now we're going to have a look at the... Okay, so you can get this code on uh, my Instructables page, Arduino T, uh, which stands for Tutorials. So I'm going to go through it now. Um, so you need to include the servo library, obviously, which is what makes controlling the servo uh, possible with an Arduino. And then we are making a creating a servo object to control the servo. So my servo is the server that we're using. And then we are declaring the analog pin, which is used to connect the potentiometer. Uh, so we're putting that in a variable, and it's naught. And then we're creating a variable to read the value from the analog pin, int val. Then in the void setup, uh, we're doing a very basic thing, myservo.attach. Now what myservo.attach does is it attaches the servo on, um, on, pin, on a pin. So it basically declaring which pin it is attached to. So it's attached to 9, so it's saying my servo dot attach 9. Then in the loop, um, we are saying that val, which we declared earlier is an integer variable, is equal to uh, analog read pot pin. Pot pin is naught, and it's reading how much electricity is going into naught, a naught, which is what the potentiometer is attached to. And then it's going, um, well, it's, it's basically making a scale at the bit below. Val equals map val naught 1023 naught 1079. And uh, it's a scale uh, to use within the servo value, which is between naught and 180. And then it's writing to the servo, my servo dot write val. So it sets the position of the um, servo according to the scaled value. And then it waits for 15 milliseconds. And yes, milliseconds, delay is always in milliseconds. So to get to a second, you do a thousand. So um, 15th 
no, not 15, whatever, uh, 15 milliseconds it's going to wait then, um, just to make it more stable. So that is the code that you use to control a servo with um, a potentiometer. Now, what this is going to be used for in our project is an ultrasonic distance finder. It's, it's going to be rotating on the front. So now you've done this, you need to find a way of attaching your ultrasonic distance finder onto your servo motor. Once you've done that, you are able to write a piece of code so that the server basically turns around one way and another and that should be fairly simple but we will go over it in the next time if we don't thanks for watching this video was about controlling servo motors and we looked at some of the very basic servo things you need to know like um, servo.attach servo.write they are the main things so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time um, and be sure to check out the Instructables page on this project, How to Control Servo Motors by Arduino T.